Okay, we're going to do an example uh, looking at um, interquartile range, which is the range of the middle half of your data. But I just want to kind of go through some uh, definitions and also show you how we're breaking the data up into four equal sections. It's kind of the big idea. We're going to break the data up that we have in four equal sections, okay, quarters. And then from there, we're going to find the range of the middle half. Okay, let's uh, let's pretend I asked uh, 12 of you to write down on a piece of paper how many pets you have. Okay, and I had you write it on a piece of paper, and then I had you come up to the front of the room and get in line from least to greatest. Okay, so this could be a possibility. A couple of you with zero pets couple of three of you with one pet okay and so on one person has 20 pets and then we could look at the data we're going to break this up into four equal chunks okay and one way you could do it is keep in mind what the minimum is okay the minimum is zero the least value the maximum is the greatest value 20. And then the range is just subtracting the maximum greatest value minus the least minimum value. Okay, so we have a range of 20 pets in the sample. Okay, the median is the middle. Okay, so I'm going to kind of zero, zero in. Take off the one on the very end and then the one on the other end, the small side and the large side. And kind of zero in, take the third from the left, the third from the right, the fourth from the left, the fourth from the right. And we're going to end up with two in the middle. Okay, since there's two in the middle, we need to add those up and divide by two. Okay, at least that's one way to do it. Okay, we're going to take two plus two, which is four, and then divide by two, which is two. Okay, so the median is 2. Put it right there. Okay, um, so we broke the data up in half. Does that make sense? We broke the data up in two equal parts. Okay, now if we find the median of the bottom half and the median of the top half, we're breaking the bottom in half. And we're breaking the top in half, basically. Okay, so lower quartile. Okay, we're going to find the median of the bottom half of your data. Okay, and there are 12 of you all together. So we're going to look at the bottom six and the top six. Okay, the median of the bottom six people. Um, use a different color. Take off the bottom. Take off the biggest. Take off the bottom, take off the second from the bottom and the second from the uh, big side and small side, we get one and one. Okay, so the lower quartile is one plus one divided by two. Okay, so the median of the bottom half, the lower quartile is one. Okay, the upper quartile is the median of the upper half of your data. So kind of zero in to the middle of the top half of your data. Take off the 2, take off the 20. Take off the 3, take off the 10. Okay, I'm left with two 6s in the middle. So the median of my upper half would be adding 6 and 6 up. Dividing by 2 to get six. I think some of you realize you don't have to um, add and divide by two if they're exactly the same number. Okay, so the median of the top half of your data, the upper quartile, is six. Okay, and what we did, we broke the information up. We broke your data up into four equal chunks. The bottom 25% of the sample 
has between 0 and 1 pets. The second 25% of the data has between 1 and 2 pets. Okay, the third 25% of your data of the people in this survey have between 2 and 6 pets. And the top 25% have between 6 and 20 pets. Okay, but what we're really focusing on other than that, the main thing is the interquartile range, which is this middle 50%. The middle 50% has between 1 and 6 pets. Okay, get it? The middle 50% of the sample has between 1 and 6 pets. So the interquartile range, you could just say that. You could say between 1 and 6. Okay, the pets range between 1 and 6. But sometimes they just like to use the number, taking the upper quartile 6 minus the lower quartile 1 is 5. Okay, so you could say, let's see, the middle 50% of the sample has between one and six pets, or you could say the range of the middle, 50%. amount of room is five. Okay, so the actual interquartile range is five because it's the upper quartile minus the lower quartile. But I think in the way I like to think of it is that just use the actual quartiles to talk about it. The middle 50% has between, the middle 50% of you guys in the sample would have between one and six pets. Okay, there's another example like this. You may want to come back to this, uh, take your time with it. But basically, we found the median. Okay, we found the median of the bottom half and the median of the top half. Okay, so we found three different medians. And that broke the data up into four equal sections. And the two middle sections is what we're focusing on. Okay, the range of the middle 50%. Okay, let me know if you have questions on this.